Welcome back to Burning River Bushcraft. Today we're going to be taking a little closer look at the roundabout spring trap from Grim Workshop. So the roundabout spring trap was included in one of the past Tool of the Month clubs. And this roundabout tool, this is a new size and a new style tool for Grim. And this is actually designed to fit inside the uh, fishing reel from Exotac. So it's kind of a, a partnership they did. And this is kind of handy and it fits in a lot of places that a traditional credit card size pocket tool or the dog tag or the micro just wouldn't fit quite as well. Here is a regular silver dollar or a full dollar coin just for comparison. So things that are round like this kind of fit in your pocket and you're used to that and you don't have any sharp edges. So a lot of times this just works for your particular carry style over some of the other tools. So like all the uh, Grim stuff, this has a white backer that peels off so this backside's permanently adhesive so you could just stick this to something a tackle box or a dry uh, box for your cell phone or something and this would be with you all the time and then all of the tools come off of these cards so the first time you take a tool off there's a little metal tab you can see the metal tabs right here so all these tools are usable and they go back on with this tool retention system and this is not adhesive it's non-magnetic so there's no residue attached to the tools. And you just press them back on there and it bonds with the tool and it's stuck on there until you need it next time. So what this spring trap does, this actually is three traps. So you see multiple components here, but they're designed to work the larger component with the smaller component right above that. And this mimics an L7 spring trap. And an L7 spring snare is one of my favorite types of traps. It's pretty easy to carve, but this is a whole lot easier just to pull it off your card and use it. And there's a lot less friction because it's two machine metal surfaces. So like the L7, you can use this for land trapping as well as for fish. So with the traditional L7 or the traditional spring snare triggers that Grimm has, you're going to have to use a hook from somewhere else. So be it attached to that same card or attached to a different card or you can improvise one from the field but with this one here it's all together so if you are after land animals the hook can just stay there seated no problem and if you're actually after fish you've got one hook ready to go so i had some questions about how this works and i put a lot of content out on other social media sites besides just YouTube here. So you can find me on YouTube Shorts, but I've got TikToks, I've got Instagram, I've got uh, Facebook Reels as well. So somebody on one of the other uh, platforms asked about how this works, so I thought I would give you a quick demo on how efficient and quick this thing sets. So if you're interested in this roundabout tool or any of the other Grim products, I am a Grim affiliate. So go ahead and in the description box, you're going to find my affiliate link. Just use that, head over there and check them all out. I'm also a content creator for Grim. So I do a lot of Grim's videos for them. And on Grim's channel, I've got an entire trapping series that's ready to be released as well as more detailed reviews of most of the Grimm cards. So behind me here is a spring engine, and when you select your spring engine, you've just got to make sure that it's in the right location that you want to set a trap. And this has got to be sized appropriately for the animal that you're intending to trap. And you don't want to overstress this, so I've got this at about 90, and that's about it. And a little deeper on my bench here, you can see I've got a stake. So to use this trap properly, we're going to attach one end of it to our spring engine and the second is going to be attached to the ground. Now, if I was just in an open area, I would drive a stake in. That's what this is representing. If I had a tree root or anything else to tie to, I would utilize that. So the way this works is I've got set tabs. I've got a tab on both components and they're just going to sit face to face and lock together. Now, when an animal disturbs this or a fish pulls on the line, it's going to break that connection. And the spring engine is going to tighten the snare on the animal or set the hook on a fish. So to get this set, we're just going to pull down on our spring engine, mate our two surfaces together, and just back off of it real easy. So obviously we're under a lot of tension here and you want to watch your eyes. Now this second hole here, 
this is where I would personally attach my monofilament if I was fishing and then I would attach my hook and send this off the screen. Just so you can see this a little bit better, I've got some high-vis cord here. So this orange is a little more high-vis, so you could attach your hook here, cast this off into the water, or if you were targeting land animals, you could make your snare loop and attach this off camera, right in the middle of the trail. So now with a snare loop formed, when the animal pulls on this snare, So this is a really, really effective trap and it's really simple to set. And probably the greatest thing about it is you just take your components off, put them back on the card and put this back in your pocket or back in your kit or back in your hand reel and off you go. And if this size doesn't quite work for you, this combination of tools is available on several different cards. This is on some of the signature cards. There's some specialty trapping cards out as well. So this is a popular one and it's popular for a reason. So if you wanna see more how to use these type of traps, if you like these primitive traps or modern versions of primitive traps that you can carry with you, again, I have an entire playlist uh, that is going to be released at Grimm's site. So go over to Grimm Workshop, check them out there. But I like this a lot. Uh, I like this size a lot as well. This roundabout is kind of unique, uh, especially if you've got that handrail. And if not, sometimes just having something around like this in your pocket just works better and fits your personal lifestyle. So check them out. Till next time, this has been Jamie Boggs with Burning Riverbush Craft. See you soon.